congratulations to all nominees for having uh, your peers nominate, which is huge, huge honor. To Brian Brooks, Community Leader of the Year Award. Anybody know who that's named after? All three of the finalists have also dedicated themselves to improving the community through volunteer efforts. And they exemplify leadership traits with this award. There's about a thousand and one things that need to be done. And there's about a million and one friends you'll meet along the way. So get involved. Thank you. I love this. Where, if you want this award, where would you put it? I take it home to my wife to show her that I actually do something at work. <laughs> We have overcome every challenge and every hurdle that has come in our way. And that has not only strengthened us as individuals, it, strengthens, it has strengthened us as an organization. Our team, Howard Schmidt, Charlie Lodge, and Jason Lewis have been instrumental in helping us achieve our goals. That with all of our hearts. We wanted to create a place where it was collaborative and collegial, and, and we weren't experienced with that. So, uh, it, is, it is truly an honor to, to be before you tonight to, to receive this. The Wright Group is an employee benefits and business insurance consulting firm. My father started this firm over 32 years ago. Uh, we, it, was, it was a life insurance, predominantly life insurance agency with some employee benefit. Growing up, I think the furthest thing from my mind, in fact it was, uh, was working for your father at the life insurance agency. But I, I came back and I was very fortunate to have about three and a half years working with my father. But uh, it's hard work and it's harder than most people realize. So in order to build an organization, in order to grow an organization successfully, you have to have true architects. And I, I would say Jen, Claire, and Roger really own that space, and, and I'm kind of along for the ride. Our industry, uh, when there is growth, it grows at three to five percent, and, and that's pretty aggressive. We're growing at 15 percent organically, so when you think about that growth, and I know one of the biggest issues is sustainability. How do you sustain that? Because when you're growing at that kind of rate, people work harder. <laughs> uh, and, and so if there's a comfort zone, you have to get out of it. It, it is a tremendous, tr tremendous honor just to make it here and to be, be considered a nominee because uh, Oftentimes you, you just get those blinders on and your focus and your, your building and your growing and, and I think that there is a tremendous sense uh, of, of community and, and accomplishment in this organization. I think everybody feels it. But at the same time you need to take those moments to stop and celebrate and, and hence the bell. 2000 we opened our first center and it just blew away our expectations and we, now we have 16 centers open in four states, soon to be 18. We're opening in Boulder May 15. Anybody can buy an MRI machine. Anybody can set up a nice facility with carpeting and paint and wallpaper. But what makes a difference in our business every day is the people that come here and serve our patients. They deliver a consistent business model that referring physicians, their nurse coordinators can learn to rely that Hey, if I send them the health images, I'm going to have a report in two hours, three hours. My patient's going to have a great experience. If we have somebody who's really sick and they have to be done today, health images will stay as late as I need to um, to get my patients done so we can get the results to the doctor. Our model is, and our vision, which has become what we're all about, is you blow out your knee skiing on Saturday, Monday you see your doctor, Monday night you have MRI, Tuesday you're back at your doctor, and then he says, hey, you're on my surgery schedule Thursday or Friday, or you're going to rehab. So now you have a treatment path and a determination of where you're going in the healthcare system, where normally that takes two, three weeks to navigate through the healthcare maze. 
our feeling is we always lead with quality. We're going to have the cutting edge quality, we're going to have the best service, and we think we can win market share. As long as we're doing the best service and the best quality and this patient experience, you know, the profits and things will follow. If you look South Park, Sky Ridge, Roar, all these places, we get the lion's share of the business and it's because of the people that are passionate they come here every day and give their heart and soul. And, uh, you know, I'm so proud that we have such a great team. Really two sides to our business in terms of what we do. We have a landscape management group that represents 70%, 75% of the business. We have a public infrastructure management group that represents the rest of the business. Uh, those are all doing things in, um, in the infrastructure world, maintaining things, but just different things. So for example, one of Justin's larger contracts is the city of Centennial. We are the public works department for Centennial. They don't have anybody doing work in the field. We are that. So that's you know, concrete, asphalt, signage, snow, big challenge in this market. Not even including all the snow work we do for just parking lots and stuff on the landscape side. How many lane miles do we plow in one storm? And we figured we could go LA to Chicago if we hit it one time, and we usually hit it two to four times in a, in a single event. So we're going LA to Chicago and back twice for a single snowstorm. Uh, the other side of our business is landscape management. It's contracts like um, Coors. We do the entire Coors campus, which is 2,200 acres. Those mowers are the fastest mowers in the industry. That's why we have those, and we have about 75 of them. Uh, they're, they'll, they'll cut faster than you can walk. You'd have to run to keep up with them, and they'll do a perfect cut at that speed. So our equipment fleet has changed over the years. We used to have everything just to walk behind, you know, the handles. Well, you know, when you're having guys walk eight, 10 hours a day, they're walking sometimes 20 some miles in one day. What do you think happens to production about two o'clock? Be a whole lot easier to stand on that thing right there, wouldn't it? So there's a lot of those kinds of things we've done. And this is what we tell our clients, and, and most of our clients really get this. They're not paying us to move snow. They're paying us to show up Christmas Eve at 6. They're paying us to show up New Year's Day at 6 a.m. after everybody's been in the bar all night. And we do. And that's how, I mean, that's what people hire us for on the snow side. Because we're reliable and we get it done.